Okay, everything's good. Ow. 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 Also, for anybody lurking in chat right now, I'm not calling you out, but if you want to vote on what game I'll get to play next, there you go. I know some people are really committed to the lurk, so I just figured I'd throw that out there. Yo, that's a big egg. Do I get to roll that? Showdown with Dark Raven. You know that's that's pretty sketchy looking. You know I'm I'm I've got anxiety. If there's like chickens up here, I am going to lose my goddamn mind. But Billy, we were too late. Dark Raven seems to have taken over Giant Palace as well. I can feel his evil powers at work. But we've still got a chance. The giant egg hasn't been hatched yet. You must hurry to the center of the egg and get to it. No. What the fresh fuck is that? What are you? Are you... Are you a chicken? This is Giant Palace, the temple in which the giant egg rests. We are the Egg Spirits. We've been protect we've been charged with the duty of protecting the holy giant egg. There isn't much time. You must hurry to the giant egg. You've done a terrible job. Look at this. Egg. Egg man. Yo, okay, I'm I'm waiting to see what they do with the revamped Sonic movie graphics. You know what I mean? Because they said they weren't gonna keep the graphics they show in them anymore. Because fans were just like gross. And while I feel for the dude who made it, because he must have worked like fucking hella hard. If you've never made a model, it's super fucking hard work, but yeah. It, it was gross. It did look bad. But I feel like if the person in charge, even if they weren't like per se a Sonic fan, they probably still would have wanted, um, yeah, it looked corporate mandated. I was gonna say, my guess is that someone at corporate office branch said, make it look real. And then they didn't realize that everybody who watches movies doesn't want real, especially when it's like a video game character. That's why we don't have repeat incidents in the Mario movie. However, it is the reason we still keep on getting shitty Resident Evil movies. Objectively, though, if you have never watched it, the Silent Hill movie is actually not terrible. Like, the first one- I don't know about the second one, but the first one had some genuinely, like, scary shit going on in it. You know what I mean? Like, like, they did a really good job with, uh... I mean, there's Detective Pikachu on the screen, so the whole kind of video game character is bad. I don't know what I think about the Detective Pikachu movie. I still think I prefer the... the original animation style, like they did with, um, Pokemon Heroes and Destiny of the Access and all that. Like, I like those original Pokemon movies. If I could, I would really like to do something like watching those, maybe. Yo, is there a reason why this isn't opening? I killed everything, didn't I? Uh -huh. Is there something somewhere that I failed to kill? Switch that guy across something? Hey, 
Eight guard. Are you kidding me? You need specifically a light type monster thing. And then there are, yeah, Detective Pikachu. Dude, you know what I'm still a sucker for? I'm still a sucker for the classic, like, Pokemon Heroes movie. Because that features, like, my favorite legendary Pokemon. Like, I really love Latias. I think Latias' design is hella cute. Oh, are you excited for Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield Spider? Or the Breath of the Wild 2 that they showed off at E3? Sniff and Shield, yep. Yeah. Pokemon Sniff and Scratch. the idea for Mario Sunshine. Yeah. Also, I really hate this effect that changes... that changes direction based off of which way you're moving. I really do hate it. Animal Crossing New Horizons. See, I'm not big on Animal Crossing. So I'm not really excited for that. I am excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield, of course. And the overabundance of apparent waifus that we're getting in it. Um, that being said, I'm also kind of sketchy because I heard they're not going to support Pokemon Bank for Sword and Shield, which is a stupid decision. Because everybody just goes, okay, but I want to bring over the Pokemon that I've been using in Game Freak went, that's funny. Oh, fuck me. Please. The game, every time I went up the, the little plane thing, was just like... Pokemon Home? I don't know a lot about... Did I just die? No, but I'm about to. Thanks, Billy. From what you understand, it's Pokemon Bank 2. I've heard something similar. Um... you transfer Pokemon that are from the Gala region, though. Which, if that's true, is a humongous boner killer. Oh, please don't make me do that. 
dangerous. Thanks, egg. Okay, time to start all over again. I, I haven't heard a lot about it though. The something that I'm also really confused on is Pokemon Pokemon Sleep. I'm also really confused on why they didn't just what's the word? Why they didn't incorporate the Pokeball from Pokemon Go as a as a um, controller option for Sword and Shield. Like, that just seems like a really poor decision. Like, yeah, you can use it as a proxy for, like, the Pokemon from Let's Go, yeah. What did I say, Hey Go? doesn't have as many buttons, yeah, I get that, but it still seems like a dumb option. Like a dumb option. Like, you know every Pokemon nerd out there would be jizzing themselves over the thought of using a, a Pokeball as a controller for a Pokemon game. Oh. That's a sort of a side note, or whatever you want to call it. Um... So, my 3DS for, mm, there's probably a good bunch of people who know, um, but basically my DS got smashed to smithereens during the polar vortex up north, and um, that was because some old fuck boomer um, decided that icing his side, his portion of the sidewalk like he was supposed to uh, was too much work, and then when I told him that his irresponsibility resulted in personal losses. He was like, go fuck yourself. And I'm like, okay. Um. And what was it? Oh, fuck. Lost my train of thought. But, um. I was thinking about if and when I replace it getting one of the ones that has, like... Because I want one of the new 3DS XLs, but if it's possible, I want to get, like, one of those ones with the capture cards. That way I can play DS games and 3DS games on stream and increase my streaming options. Only difference is that costs $400 more. So, I mean, take that as you will. I'm borrowing another friend, but I want my own and I appreciate the offer. Um, but it's more about having, since I'm eventually going to have to give it back, no matter why. Um, I was thinking about when the time comes that I decide to replace it, if I should get a new 3DS with a capture card so that way I have the option of streaming. Sorry, I got distracted there. Um, of streaming using the, uh... I, I keep on using my train thought. I was thinking of... If and when the time comes that I do replace it, that I could get, um... A new 3DS XL with a capture card. Yeah. 
and that will allow me to stream a bunch more, uh, bunch more options. Because I got this really big, like, extensive library of 3DS games that I, I never had the time for playing because of everything, everything going on in my life. And it feels like if I used it as a streaming device, So that's, that's really what I was talking about. I thought that thing was straight up about to jump off the edge and I was like, go ahead. So Yeah, there That's that's another thing about this game that could use improvement. Oh my fucking god. There was there was no reason to take that risk. Big things in this game that could use improvement. Um, number one, the camera. The camera is atrocious. Atrocious. There's no better word for it. It's probably being gracious. Possibly the worst or the second worst. Um camera system that I have ever encountered in a game. And that's that's being gracious if you can believe me. Because I'm coming up on the end, I'm going to vent out my thoughts on the game a little. Which is okay, what are you going to say first? Thanks, that's not helpful at all. You are literally useless to me. Um, no, I would say second worst. Sometimes this is manageable. for worst camera in a game goes to obscure the aftermath multiplayer campaign for we specifically yeah. look it up Obscure the Aftermath for Wii has a multiplayer campaign, and the camera for that is atrocious. Yo, I am not digging the new puzzles.
so weird how when you're chasing them, they like they like latch onto your shadow. They don't actually like run away. But yeah, Obscure the Aftermath, from what I've heard, is a good game. Or Obscure, whatever it's first game was. I can't, I don't believe Obscure the Aftermath was the first game. Um, because it is called the Aftermath. I think from what I've heard, it was a good game, and I never got the opportunity to play it, um, solo. I still own it. I got it at GameStop for like two bucks. So that should already give you an idea. Did I just die and have to restart the whole level because I am going to be upset? Uh, where's the egg? I think Obscure is kind of like one of those Silent Hill-esque games. Do you know what I mean? Where it's supposed to be like creepy or whatever, but it's got like the Danganronpa present or premise of like. being trapped in a school. From what from what I saw at least. Oh please. Don't fucking do this. I hate the long rail segments. I really do. Spider, do you know if they're ever going to make another Danganronpa game? <sighs> the game is a 999 out of 10, right? This one? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 I love me some Don Gun Rampa.
Here's where I think of the shitty egg tempo. another dog in the Think of the new um well quote unquote new. What do you think of um the remake of Link's Awakening? Interested, right? I've heard some people go, Oh, but the art style is so cute! And I go, Okay, but that's not a good enough reason for me to buy a game. I, I, I just right now have trouble justifying it because it's like an I don't know how expensive game. It's like a 50 60 dollars. I think it's like a full price for like a brand new game. It's like, I, I just can't justify it. I go $40 short. $60 now. I kind of want to play it just because I never got to play the original Link's Awakening. I own it. I just, I, I haven't had a chance to play it myself because... Um, because... The game save system is really confusing to me.
Um, what else from E3 looked interesting? No More Heroes 3 looked like it was going to be good. Made me think that maybe I should get involved with the No More Heroes series of games. I'm really not a fan of this. How do you take that turn? It's it's just it's so unforgiving this game. I feel like even more than Sonic, this game is very unforgiving. For what equates to minute errors. Like, like, see that? I was slightly off kilter for the rail. You only get five lives, you can't find more lives. Trust me, I've tried. I've tried finding more lives. There's no way. Unlike Sonic, you can't accrue points into, into more lives or anything like that in this game. You can't just hatch a certain type of egg to get more life. It's... You get... See? I was technically on the guardrail, but it didn't count it because I was slightly off. That's, that's just what gets me. <sighs> okay. I don't know. I, I kind of want them to have an egg in here that guarantee spawns you at least a life. They don't have to put them everywhere, just one per level would be nice, but... I don't know. It's like, you get five. You get five, then you get game over, and you gotta do it again, because fuck you, Billy Hatcher. That being said, I still don't think this is the m angriest I've been with a game. I've been I've been pretty angry with a game, but I can't. I think the Rag Dark still holds the record for angriest game. Yeah, I'm not angry with Billy, I'm just disappointed. Definitely, um, one of those games that I looked at through rose tinted glasses, you know what I'm saying? Has like good ideas but poor execution. Does that make sense? Like some of the ideas should work really well but don't because because of the way that the life, the checkpoint, and the health system works. In this game, health is like basically useless, but you can get upgrades for like basically. It's not the most useless, it makes sense, but lives are definitely far more important in this game than health is. If you fell down and you took health damage, they might add more intrinsic value to your health, but then it would detract from the life system. I don't know how to describe it. This 
game, not understanding the controls are returning up the next day. I mean, the controls... I will relent, the controls leave a bit to be desired. Like... Uh, I'll give a full debrief on that card the final boss here. Because I've, I've already gotten this far and I would very much like to be done. Mind you, I was maybe like seven, yeah. For a seven-year-old, this is too much. This is a game with E-rated story and gameplay, but T-rated uh, learning curve, I would say. I feel like this game was so ambitious, but they just didn't think parts of it through. I'm already down to three lives here, normally I'm not there. Keep going. To be honest, I've I've become so passive. I'm starting to I've I've reached sort of passivity with this, where I I wouldn't give Billy Hatcher a, a big ranking, by the way. This feels like the kind of game that speedrunners would maybe like, maybe. And I say maybe because I feel like the things that you experience in the game aren't consistent enough or understandable enough for a speedrunner like you It's just, it's so, it's so ambitious. It's so ambitious and it didn't nail the execution, I think is the way that I think because what happens is intrinsically your life is worth like nothing. Or not your life, your, your health. Your health is garbage. Your, your health is like less than garbage. It's your lives that matter and you can't get, because you can't get them back. And that's one thing, but the the system for for basically like healing yourself is fair, but it is not easy to get lives. I've gotten lives from the blue eggs, the blue spotted eggs. Um, top any percent was done just 15 days ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know. This feels like... It feels like the kind of game that I usually avoid playing because I don't like Sonic games, but... Not that I don't like Sonic games, I guess. I guess the way to put it would be more like... I'm not good at Sonic games, and I like a game that can immerse me. And... 
and Sonic games just aren't capable of that. Um, let's see. It only has two 100% speed runs in all four levels. In four all levels. Yeah, see? So, with what I was saying, which... Basically, the blue eggs have like, I want to say, like an extremely low chance to net you, to net you a life, maybe, if you're lucky. But more often than not, they crash. Like I said, still not the worst game I've played. If you can believe that, still not the worst game I've ever played. Um, I've just I've just reached a, pa a point of positivity with this. Well, I'm not angry or sad or anything. Worst game you've streamed? Um, what's on the wall of wall of victory? Depending on what's there, I may say yes or no. Um. Oh shit! A life. Holy crap. Um. Oh shit, okay. Um Don't worry about it, I can see it. Um I like Cave Story a lot. It was a lot of fun, but it became very frustrating at the end, a lot like this game did. It's it's games that <sighs> Billy Hatcher is bad in a little bit of a different respect to Cave Story, does that make sense? Not to make people butthurt over the concept of their favorite game being good or bad or whatever, I don't care at the end of the day, but, um... Games that get intrinsically harder towards the end, you know, it makes sense, but at least in RPG systems, um, stuff like that, which I prefer, um, you've scaled up to the difficulty. But, um, what I didn't like about Cave Story was that the good ending relied on you getting an optional item early on, and it was very easy to miss, and because of that I got basically locked out of the good ending. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but my my thing is, um, and I and I know that was, yeah, I know it it looked like it was painful to type. Um, final boss, by the way. Um, This one I kind of get it, because for the ending, you are supposed to be good enough at the game to reach this with... Oh, what the fresh fuck is this? Oh, no. Okay, give me a minute to maybe focus. I, I think I'm fighting a feathery. Isn't that the name for the bird furries? Cool! Okay! I 
gotta clean up this mess. Yo, what the fuck? How the fuck do I fight him? Yo, okay, I'm not 100% certain on what I need to do here. Time to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I've, I've honestly... I know that I'm frustrated. And I know it's starting to really reflect. And I don't want to stream something that I'm not having a good time with. So I'm trying to get to the end. Billy Hatcher on the Giant Egg. Dark Raven. Here it is. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Okay, King of the Crows. He's the main antagonist. Billy Hatcher, Giant Egg. He plans Morningland, Eternal Night, Rule Over. Yep, 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 yep. Appearance trivia does not tell me. Okay, in the first fight, he sends out puddles of dark matter. Billy must clean at least one of them by rolling his egg over the puddle. When He'll be stunned if one or more has been cleaned up. So it was... It was my idea. I did it. I, I I did I did it. I I don't I don't understand. I just don't. You're gonna die. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, oh fuck, he has a multi stage boss. Okay. How do I redirect them? Thanks for that. Thanks for popping the egg and making me waste my attack time. Cool, yo, it's all good. Give me the Honing Feather attack. Get your boss, please. No! Come on! I'm about to fucking die. Fuck this, I'll wait it out. There's, there's no sense in even trying with this attack. If I die to his next stage, that oh, rip the egg.
You must remember, you have gathered much courage on your quest. If you have true courage, you will be able to defeat Dark Raven. Billy, you must stand up. Oh, what the fuck. Am I going Super Saiyan? Press the B button to catch the evil energy balls that Dark Raven shoots at you. Then use the power of my courage to turn them into energy balls of pure light. I know you can do it. Oh, what the fuck? Thanks for that. Wasn't that- what? 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 Fuck it, I'm taking the egg. I don't know where he's coming from or what he's doing. I, I can't, okay, hang on. Billy Hatcher, final boss. Shut up. Billy, you must... Okay, fucking double speed. Power, press the B button to catch the evil balls of energy that Dark Raisin... So I'm pressing B. I'm pressing D. Okay, you just got to button mash it. serious oh cool it still hurts me I love how this thing has like the same attack patterns as um what's it from the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Ow, dick! Oh, that's not good. Press B. Helm Rock King. I think I've got one life left. Yep. Give magical girl suit, please.
Gib energy ball, please. I couldn't, I couldn't see. What do I have to do? Do I have to press and hold? I can't catch it anymore. I'm I'm trying pressing B, but it's not coming. It's it's not doing the thing. Is it press and hold? Game is good. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. I hate people. Okay, that time it did it. Are you serious? I feel like I'm about to snap my fucking wrists. Do I do I press and hold? Did it mean press and hold? I don't understand. I'm I think you gotta move forward while doing it. Oh, come on.
One more of those and I'm as good as dead. If it makes me... I'll be back. I need, I need to take a piss.
Okay, so people probably didn't hear me earlier. I forgot to unmute myself. One more try. One more. One. I will give this one more try, which means one more game over. And if I get a game over in here before I reach the boss or something like that, then I'm done. Because mentally this is driving me insane.
I got here with four lives left. That's better than the three I came in here with last time. And now I know how the boss works. Can't, can't skip.
Courage! Power, true courage. Press the B button. I'm pressing and holding to see if this makes a difference. Nope, it's press. I don't understand. I'm still not sure under which circumstances it actually works. like every other one I can catch. Yeah, still not sure. Still not sure. I think I did it. the egg back.
You shouldn't have eaten those weird mushrooms, Billy. I feel no pity. Ah! My soul has been freed. Cool! Now I can give my actual review of the game. <sighs> hey look! Here I am! Um... These aren't good fucks either, these are all... Thoughts on Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg? First off, amongst the GameCube games of the time, I'm sure this was actually pretty good. It was made by Team Sonic, so I imagine somebody out there likes it. Um... I enjoyed it at first, when the skill level was moderate. However, problems with this game. The camera is atrocious. It's amongst the worst that I've seen in any game. Um, what else? They should have taken a look at Wind Waker for how to handle free roaming cameras. I don't know if this came out before that or or after, but they should have taken a look at it. Um, God, the camera. The camera was my biggest frustration. Okay, and it had really good ideas, but very poor execution. So there were a lot of mechanics. I found out by accident on my own. The dash mechanic, um, the slam mechanic, the egg toss mechanic, um, the air fling mechanic, which were all integral to beating the game. Of the many integral things that were in the game, how to put this. So double jump is like a necessity. You can't beat the game without double jumping. And the game tells you about it. The game doesn't tell you about dash jumping until level four, five, something like that. I believe it was the circus level. I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Um, and that is two levels before the end of the game. Two levels before the end of the game, they tell you about a core mechanic. I would have much rather had all of level one be the tutorial for learning everything that I would need to do throughout the game, um, over learning a core mechanic at level five of seven. Um, the life system could use some more. The way that they handle health and life really could have been different. Like, if, if I had when I fell off the world, because it's inevitable that you fall off the world. There's no way to get through this game without falling off the world at least once. Um, if it instead subtracted health rather than life first, so like I have five health things or whatever, subtract one off that, don't take a whole life because you don't- you give me ways to get health back, you don't give me ways to get life back, like, at the very end level, I got maybe the third total life, second or third, I can't even remember, total life from a random blue spotted egg out of the entire game, and I have been hatching them basically frivolously. Um, whenever, whenever I was swapping eggs, I was hatching the blue eggs if they were hatchable. But I almost never got items out of them, and that's the only way to get health, or not health, um, but to get lives, which is a huge problem It needed to be reworked. Or, or at least the access to life needed to become consistent enough 
that I would be willing to risk a life going for a life. Does that make sense? Um, the carnival level was a mess. Completely and totally a mess. That, that level was so beyond frustrating with the way that it was laid out and with the way the collisions worked that I just elected not to do all the levels. Like, at first I was going to 100% run this game, and I just elected that it was too much of a headache going through the carnival level to try to even um, attempt it. Before the carnival level, I think I was having a much better time. And the multiplayer game mode, which I played offline with some friends was actually pretty fun i think this game works better as a party game which is what it may have been designed as originally than it does the platformer type game that it is um overall rating i'd say a four or a three out of ten brutally honest it needed a lot more work is is what my problem is is this could have been really fun it really could have because this team sega game this is a team sega game this uh team sega at the time was also making sonic dx sonic adventure battle 2 or whatever you know like basically games that everybody remembers i mean if you look at them graphically they're atrocities but they were fun you know and they worked but um but they were, from what I remember at least, a little bit better. I remember the movement being janky in some of those, but I mean, Sonic game going fast, kind of hand in hand with probably jank movement. But, um, I feel like 4 out of 10 is being on the generous side. I don't think it's the worst game I've played. I think it might be contender for the worst game I played on stream. Um, but that's only because. I'm not good at this genre of game, brutally honest. Um, I'm not sure where exactly I shine. I know I do pretty well in RPGs. Um, except for the end of Superstar Saga. Which, Spider, uh, I've been meaning to tell you, the glass cannon build you made fun of, um, I was losing with it, right? And I, had, I realized I had this specialty item on it called, um, what was it? the something force it was basically the triforce um and basically what it would do was it would double your damage that you gave and took and doing that i beat the final boss and i want to say like four or five turns but um so i thought that was funny but um calm down no i gotta use hand gestures So, so, yeah, I think that's it. Billy and the Hatcher, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, Billy and the Hatcher and the Giant Egg, oh, weird, weird. I am I am burnt, man. I am I am really burnt out on this game. <laughs> so I may seem a little frantic. I think I think I didn't expect to beat it. I was thinking this was gonna be another game I had to shelf just because I'm not good enough to beat it. And that had me filled with dread. So it's it's like a huge adrenaline rush, I guess, in a way. Endorphin rush? I don't know. To to have beaten it, in a sense. Four Four out of ten, though. Four out of ten. I know they're never going to make another Billy Hatcher. Well, I can't say I know. Who knows? Maybe Sega will get desperate and make Billy Hatcher 2. Who knows? Or a remake of Billy Hatcher. Splitter, maybe they'll announce that at Sony E3. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg 2. But, um... No. You don't want a second one of these? To be fair, I don't want a second one of these. Um, oof, my 
here, please. So this is the end of Billy Hatcher. I'm gonna save the game. It's been sitting on the screen. Oh, wow. Thank you. Sega, back when you used to be important. You had consoles competing with Nintendo for a while. Oh, I've heard enough of that, thank you. Mmm. Mmm. That is, that is enough of that. Um. Oof. Who's, who's ready for some blue screen of death? Um. Yeah. So, with that being said, um. I have the next poll up on on Discord. Um, when that finally reaches enough votes, which let's see what it's at right now, it's probably not very many. Um, oh, Mario Sunshine is in the lead. Somebody voted for Mario Sunshine. When um when this straw poll which is the current straw poll, which is connected to the bot in my chat right now, which is also in my Discord. You will see in the announcements whenever I make a new straw poll because I am really obnoxious about them. Um, when, let's say, being generous, Sunday rolls around, I will take a look at how many people have voted. And depending on how many people have voted... I will play that game. If I feel like there could be more votes, which I'd like to reach, since I'm small, I I would say a greedy goal would almost be like 10. I'd be surprised if I could get 10 people voting on this. But um, if I could get about 10 people voted then I would feel pretty secure in what I'm doing. I'd like to give it more than a day for just Saturday. But depending on how many I have on Sunday, I may start whatever game gets picked on Sunday. And... Anything else? I was talking about it earlier in stream. Um, the number of streams coming up may increase. I may do what I'm thinking of doing is morning time art streams which would include game development and then late night gaming streams. And I think I could be okay with that. But for now we'll have to see. So Thank you to the people who showed up. I really appreciate it. I will be back. I'm going to attempt to be back Sunday night. I have a thing going on with a friend or two that I'm, I'm going to. It's not a convention or anything like that. I'm not going away anywhere. It's just a place that I need to go. I need to sell some stuff for um, Mula. Uh, just some old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, and I told them we would all go together because he's really into it, but... Um, so if I don't stream on Sunday, I will be back Monday. Monday will be D&D. &D. Um, I do not work Tuesday, which means I may do Tuesday night stream again. Um, my, my work schedule now is basically morning, 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 which means my afternoons are free, which means depending on how my workflow is looking like, I'll be streaming more. So that would be that would be nice. I am going to throw up um literally uh now nah, I'm gonna throw a host for that boy Medi Morgs. He is a D and D creator, and he is a really cool dude. Um, I'm gonna throw a host for him up, call it a night, and I will see you all potentially Sunday. If I'm not here Sunday, then 
know that it's going to be Monday. So, see you guys later. Bye, guys.